Hello, I'm Steve Parkinson. Now, I graduated in 1988 uh, with a diploma in drama. Uh, so first of all, I want to say congratulations on graduating at this oddest of times. Obviously, we were lucky we had the ceremony, the party, the chance to say goodbye to friends in person, which you haven't been afforded. So my sympathies are, are totally with you on that score. In terms of what happened next, I certainly learned to stay calm, take a breath, form a little plan to just the next five weeks or five months, but be kind and stay positive and things will happen. So whatever happens, good luck. Hello, Keith Easton here to say congratulations on your graduation. I graduated back in the 90s with a degree in hospitality enterprise with tourism. I am now proud to be a trustee of the Students' Union and also to be the host of the QMU podcast. As you head out on the next chapter of your lives, remember to take with you all the good qualities you will have learned here at Queen Margaret. Persevere, be reliable, show good leadership and never ever lose faith in yourself. Stay safe and be kind. Congratulations! Hi everyone, my name is Keegan McQuaid. I'm currently in Ireland at the minute and I studied nutrition in QMU. So I wanna say a big congrats to all of you that have graduated. It's a, it's a great feeling and it deserves great celebration. If I was to think of any advice that I could give you all is you're gonna enter a whole new world, a new working chapter, but it's really exciting. So just enjoy every minute of it. Hello. And congratulations to all the new graduates from Queen Margaret University. Well done, you've done it. <laughs> My name is Danielle Jam. I studied on the Acting for Stage and Screen course from 2016 to 2018. And now I live in Glasgow um, and I'm working as an actress in the industry. All thanks to the amazing tools and lecturers uh, that helped me from this wonderful institution. So if I had any advice to give, um, the first thing I would say is to trust your own timing. Everybody's going to be off doing completely different things and they're all valid. Whatever you choose to do now is okay. Uh, you don't have to compare yourself to your peers. Be happy for them. Be happy for yourself. We're all on our own paths. Some of you might be going on to study a master's or a different course or moving somewhere else, taking a break. That's all okay. Some of you might have a completely different career choice and that is equally okay. There is no right or wrong way to be now. And all I would say is to be your own person. Um, practice believing in yourself. Practice having confidence. That will help a lot too. <laughs> um, and the last thing I would say is... Trust that you have all the tools that you need to take you into the next chapter. And good luck! <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Dr Zoe Roxburgh and I'm currently in Houston, Texas. I've had the pleasure of graduating from QMU twice, once in 2011 with a degree in speech and language therapy and then again in 2018 with a PhD. So I can appreciate how hard you've all worked and how exciting this must be for you to be able to graduate. I just wanted to say congratulations to you all. This is an amazing achievement. I'm sure that you've all worked extremely hard and although this might not be the graduation ceremony that you expected, it definitely will not be one that you'll forget. All the very best for your future, whether you go on to do further education or whether you're going into your dream job. And I hope that everything that you have achieved so far is going to bring you the same opportunities that it has brought to me from graduating from Queen Margaret. All the very best. Hi, I'm Toyin in Edinburgh and I studied my honours degree in film and media at QMU. I'd like to say a very big congratulations on your graduations today. I know you must feel very proud to have reached this stage after years of hard work. 
I know I felt the same way 10 years ago. If I could share any advice with you, it would be this. Be persistent. No matter how many challenges you face, please use them as an opportunity to learn and never give up. And also, whenever you have any successes, please make the time to celebrate them as they are part of your story. Thank you and congratulations again.